What's up guys, it's Ty here, and today I have episode 2 of the New York Jets franchise here on Madden 17. So, today is going to be the full preseason episode, all the cuts, all the free agency signings, and all the trades that we make, and let's just get to the free agency signings right now. Again, I will not be playing the, uh, the uh, preseason games because I just really, you know, I don't feel the need to. I feel like we'll be okay, but the first signing I want to make, I still might make other signings. We're going to sign probably, no, we are going to sign Mr. Bryce Harris right here out of Fresno State, 20, Fresno State, 27 years old to a $2.5 million contract. We don't have much cap room, but today we are going to be trying to clear up some of that cap room, so hopefully we can sign all the free agents that we want the next free agent that I was looking at is Mr. Kawan Williams out of Pittsburgh. And right here, he's got 87 speed, 82 man coverage, 77 zone coverage. Press we need to work on, but he's going to be a decent cornerback to have right here. He's younger, so he shouldn't get much worse. And I'm also thinking about getting Jonathan Newsome, but I am not sure yet. I still might. He's cheap. So I might get him, I'm not sure. I mean, I'll show you guys later if we do end up getting him. But right now, I'll cut to you guys when I get a trade that I really want. So yeah. All right, so right here, we're gonna have a trade. We're gonna have Darrell Revis and Steve McClendon for the Bears first round pick. I highly doubt they will do this, but this will clear up so much cap room. Darrell Revis, I know he's had a great career at the Jets, but he's just not as good as he used to be. And we really just need to offload him. All right, so we need to add a little more. They are not interested in Revis. Let's add, let's see what if what we can sweeten the deal with. We could get rid of Sheldon Richardson. We could get rid of Sheldon Richardson, but here's what I want to do. If I got rid of Sheldon Richardson, we could get, not Uron, but we'd trade, we'd get, we'd change uh, Akeem Hicks, who's actually quite good, to, he's not as good as Sean Richardson, but this is also clear, more cap room, to the right end position, but I'd also want another pick here. I would want a, their second round pick as well. Will the Chicago Bears be the first team that we're going to trade with in this series? All right. All right. Maybe not a first rounder. Maybe not a first round. They'll probably, we'll probably just won't even put a pick here. I just want to see if we can get a pick. Maybe a fourth rounder. I don't know. They should really want Sheldon Richardson. All right. We're just going to go right here straight up. And they they are not budging at all. They really do not want the Raw Revis, do they? they? Or they either they don't want the Raw Revis or they really value that first round pick. So, I mean, this trade might not end up working. I'll come back to you guys when we get another trade. All right, so I didn't actually think this trade would go through. The The interest is there, but this trade would cause the Broncos to exceed the league salary cap. Really? Let's see if we can just take out that guy, and let's see if they still like the offer. And they do. So we end up getting rid of Darrell Revis and Steve McClendon. For the Broncos first round pick. Now that you're thinking. The Broncos are going to be good this year. I honestly do not think they're going to be that good this year. In my opinion. So now I want to go to the free agency. We do need a new defensive tackle now. as Or backup at least. It doesn't have, he doesn't have to be the best. But that cleared up so much cap room. You guys do not understand the cap room we just cleared right there. That was that was honestly very beneficial to the team. We only need a backup right here, so let's get Jesse Williams out of Alabama right here. 94 strength. So he's actually going to be a pretty good backup here. Only 2.8 mil. And look at that cap room, guys. It is up right now. I'm going to cut to the new team right here and show you guys that real quick. All right, so I'm actually just going to show you guys the final squad before the first regular season game at the end of the episode. So I just decided, let's go skip to week two, see how we do in our preseason game, see how Hackenberg does under the helm. Hopefully he does really good in this preseason game against the Jaguars, and the Jaguars are going to be some, you know, we're going to be, they're going to be people we're going to try to go for, and they actually beat us 20, wait, did I see the standings right? 
They actually beat us 22 to 17. Let's see how everything went. Uh, they had more yards than us, but actually it wasn't that bad. Actually, wasn't that bad of a go. Let's see how Hackenberg did. Hackenberg in his first game under the helm, actually did quite. He actually did pretty good. He um, he had a touchdown, nice six passing with a 121 passer rating, no interceptions, seven for 11, not bad. Bryce Petty went two for two when he came in. Geno Smith, 17 for 29. I don't know why Geno Smith is getting the more of the workload. And then Ryan Fitzpatrick didn't get in at all because he's trash. Uh, Powell did all right. We're trying to get rid of our rookie. We're going to try to get rid of our wide receivers here next, guys. I know you guys are probably pretty sad about like us getting rid of Brandon Marshall. And Eric we might keep one of them. I'm not sure, but I really just want to, you know, rebuild for the – what the hell? Have you guys ever seen this, that someone who tied a game is leading their division? What Everyone lost except they – you taught – never seen that before. So um, I'm going to get to you guys after – well, first of all, let's cut some players here first. We have to cut three players. Who are they wanting us to cut? Yeah, we're going to cut uh, Tanner Perdue. He's 44 overall. We're probably, yeah, we're going to cut him. We're also going to cut uh, Mr. Eric Tomlinson. 6'6", 263. That's a big boy. But 80 speed? That's fast. And then right here, we don't need five defensive or right, uh, right tackles. So we're actually going to get rid of this Ben guy because he's also another right tackle. That we need to cut. So we're just going to do that right there. All right, so there's our cuts right there. I'll go back to you guys when I get some more trades. Guys, this trade right here could be big. The Cleveland Browns are interested in Nick Mangold, and I kind of want to offer Matt Forte as well. This definitely won't go through, but it's actually very, like, it's, they're actually interested in it, like, a lot. So let's see if we can sweeten the deal. I kind of am okay with getting rid of uh, Marcus Gilchrist here and the fact that we are we'll be getting you know let's get rid of Matt Forte because they seem to like this offer very like a they seem to like this offer a lot you think we can get another pick I, I doubt we can I already know a free safety that we're going to pick up do you think we can get another second rounder uh, if we can get this guys this could be big for the team all right let's see if we can just get another pick but if they could do this, that would be pretty nice. A third rounder, probably. No, maybe, maybe a fifth rounder. Oh, we're going to get this, guys. If we can get the Browns' first round pick, that would be game-changing. Basically, guys, we're trying to get the most first round picks as possible this year. Then potentially trade them away in the draft. That is good. Guys, I, I think we're going to be all right here. Let's see if we can just get some young, some young gun here. Might even get a pick in later drafts, like years to come here. Is there any young players that we might be looking at here to maybe get? Maybe it's like a backup or something. I am not sure. Mm hmm. Not really. Let's just get. Let's get a pick. Let's get our sixth rounder. Next. They do like that. I guarantee we can get a 6th rounder for next year, and then that'll be it. If not, 7th rounder. We're going to be able to do this, guys. This is going to be big for the franchise. I'm telling you guys this right now. This is going to change the Jets around. If we don't get a 7th round pick, we're just going to go with nothing because that will probably do it. And if not, we can always sweeten up the deal with our own 7th round pick. Will we get a 7th round Let's sweeten every little... Okay, we're just going to... Ah, uh, man, they're being difficult. Let's just throw in Doug Middleton. Why not? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what, what, will the Browns do this? All right, guys. If we can get rid of Fitzpatrick in this deal as well, but look at that cap hit. This would be perfect. And they accepted it. We're shipping Nick Mangold... Marcus Gilchrist and Ryan Fitzpatrick. It's a 70 overall, 13 mil cap hit for the Browns' number one pick. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the Browns are probably going to be the worst team with us. So that is big. And I think is our target that we wanted still there for free safety. He is not. He was signed. I was going to go for Keyshawn Jarrett. 
but that's okay. We again, we don't really need the best free safety. I actually think we have a good enough free safety anyway in um, Antonio Allen. So that is a big, big trade for the team, guys. You don't know how big of a trade that is. But I do. I don't know if our center is going to be good enough. But we're going to have to do some massive, massive rebuilding here through the draft. Or we can honestly trade our draft picks because they give you some good picks sometimes. Uh, nothing really amazing here. But I will cut to you guys when I get another trade. It's a trade episode, guys. We are going to do this. Let's see if we can get the Saints first round pick again, guys. I'm just trying to get all the first round picks that I can. They are not interested in Matt Forte at all. Who are they interested, though, in? Left, right, outside linebackers. We could get rid of. I think we have we have Jenkins. I think we have this guy. I don't know. Maybe we can get. They're not going to be interested at all in that guy. No. What can we use to get the Saints pick? Can we offer like a third round pick? First of all, look at the picks that we're stacking up, guys. We are getting so many first round picks. Can we give you a third rounder as well as David Harris for this first round pick? And they do. All right, so we just got the Saints first round pick. Again, I don't think the Saints are going to be that good either. But again, we are this, the name of the game today is clearing up cap room. We just got rid of another old veteran in David Harris. And we also got rid of a third round pick. The problem with all these first round picks is we're not going to have any picks later on in the draft. So I'm hoping maybe I can get like a late first, if I have a late first round pick, try to get like a second and a third for it. Because I do want some like, you know, I just don't want to have every single pick in the first round because there's not everybody that I want. So if we can spread that out. And let's just sim to the next week right here, guys. We Hopefully you guys are enjoying this preseason episode right here. I know I am. We're, we're cleaning up cap and we're getting first round picks. It's going to be good. And it's also going to be a long video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. I know I enjoy long, like, franchise videos. Again, like Mr. Hurricane. And there's an injury. Don't be someone detrimental to the team. Uh, Bruce Carter, seven weeks. That's not the worst thing that could have happened right there. I think we're going to be okay, guys. I really do. But we do need to cut one player, and we actually got the win. I'm gonna see who we get, got, who we uh, beat. But uh, right here, hmm, they're saying cut. I think we're gonna before we cut him, we're gonna cut one of our 15 billion running backs that we have. I really do want to get rid of Matt Forte. I am actually begging to get rid of Matt Forte. We don't need Brandon Burke. I'm not gonna cut Matt Forte, but we're we're gonna cut Brandon Burks right here, and that's gonna be our big decision for that. And let's try to get rid of Matt Forte now because we really do not need him for our rebuild. Ugh, you know what? We're just going to skip out on that. Maybe later we'll come back to it. But maybe you do. I don't think I can do it, guys. This could be big. This could be big. I wonder. if. What if we just don't even get to say sharp, right, guys? Okay, I know Brandon Marshall, I know. Again, hey, guess what? More cap room. The young rookie here, and this is the Rams pick, guys. The Rams pick. How about this? How about we even get... <laughs> See, the Titans have two first-rounders, right? How about this? What else do you need? You need a cornerback? What do we have at cornerback? We have nobody. Um, hmm. Uh, free safety? We have no one. Um... Oh, wait a minute, I, I, <laughs> Antonio Allen. Okay, maybe maybe the first round picks. More, well, this is a little bit of a stretch. I think we can get this pick. Honestly, I think we can throw in a fifth rounder. We can get it. I think we can do this. I think we can get this. Oh, that's so close. That's I don't want to get rid of a second rounder. How about I get rid of a third rounder in 2018 there we go and honestly guys this will probably be the last trade I do this offseason I do want to get this preseason video wrapped up right here so um, yeah a lot of trades have been done a lot of cap rooms been cleared it's been really good guys uh, let's get to the final cuts and the final squad before the season starts this is not something we wanted to see. We get Robbie Anderson goes down with a dislocated ankle. Four, he'll be out for the first six weeks, the first five weeks in the regular season. That is pretty tough. He was one. He's one of our better wide receivers. So let's see the cuts we gotta make. Uh, we have six or seven cornerbacks. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this guy, or Nick Marshall, former Auburn Tiger right there. Let's just go through everybody here. 
obviously we have our starting quarterback Christian Hackenberg right there. Then our backup, or here's our, or our third string, our backup. We, um, I mean, I, I can still try to trade throughout the regular season, but I guess we can keep Matt Forte for now. He is really cheap as well, guys. Don't forget that. So, I mean, it's not a bad option to have him there. We're just looking at wide receiver. I think we're going to keep Eric Decker. He's only 29. We, maybe we can get him in a trade later. But as of right now, we might have to keep Eric Decker for the future. Not for long, but to try to, you know, get the next step up. Right here, Quincy Inunua. I'm expecting a big year from Quincy Inunua. Robbie Anderson when he gets back as well. I'll expect a big year from him. Uh, Tajay Sharp we picked up. He's actually not bad. Devin Smith. Jalen. And let's get rid of Sharon Peak. We don't need all these wide receivers. Actually, I might get rid of... No, nah, no, nah, let's get rid of Sharon Peak. Right there. We need to cut... How many more people? We need to cut seven more people. Hmm. We'll keep these tight ends for now. We gotta keep these tackles. Gotta keep these guards. I mean, we can always come back. Kyle Friend. 96 strength? That dude's strong as hell. Um, let's get rid of Mr. Donald Hawkins right there. And right here, I actually am going to, instead of trying to trade him away, mm, I still think I can get something for this guy, like a draft pick or something. I mean, we might as well try. If not, we'll just cut him. Uh, right here, let's get rid of Mr. Here at Lawrence Thomas. I don't really want him. Howard Orkson has a superstar development. I didn't even know that. So we're actually going to keep him. Obviously, Sheldon Richardson has quick. We need five more cuts. Uh, defensive tackle is actually good. Left outside linebacker. We got a few. We have a little too many. So let's get rid of Randall Johnson right there. Def we, need, we need a middle linebacker. That is something. I'm going to have to sign a free agent or something. Oh, dear. We have every single freaking right outside linebacker in the book right here. Let's get rid of Freddie Bishop, and let's get rid of Mike Capitano. Cornerback situation, we have seven. We have a little too many. Right here, we're actually going to get rid of Daryl Roberts. And we that should be it. Our cornerbacks are very weak, guys. It's not going to be a good season, so strap in. It's not going to be amazing. Hopefully, we, we need a strong safety, too. God, we need a lot of people. But uh, hopefully, you guys are here for the ride. And you won't give up on the Jets franchise. This first is going to be rough, but guys, you know all the first round picks we have. We have tons, and I mean tons, of freaking draft picks that we can trade for assets in the future. And it's just going to be great. So who do we need again? We need a middle linebacker. Oh, God. We can always trade for one, too. But we need somebody. But what's wrong with signing people in the free agency? We honestly need a backup. Let's get... Let's get this guy right here, Justin March Lillard out of Akron. A2 speed, so that's actually not that bad. So we're going to sign him to our team. We also needed a, an, we need a strong safety. We need a backup strong safety. We don't need a starter because we have that Rondell's Miles guy. Um, Honestly, Abr Ibrahim Campbell, right here from the Browns. Thank you, Browns, by the way, for your first-round pick. You retards. No, I'm just, that was mean. So we got to make some more cuts here. we got to cut three players now. I already know who I'm going to cut right here. We're going to cut Mr. Doug Middleton, I think. I'm actually going to end up cutting Brandon Wilds. And... We're actually going to cut that one right tackle. You know what? I'm not even trying to get a trade for him. We're just going to cut Breno G Giamincy. All right. So those are all the cuts that we're going to have here. So let, let us sim to week one of the regular season in the Jets franchise, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this long preseason video with a bunch of drama. It's going to be a lot of editing, but that's okay. It's worth it for you guys. All the drama, all the uh, tr the draft picks we got, all the trades that we have done, it's going to be a and off. It's going to be a pretty bad year this year, guys. It's basically tanking right now, but it's going to be fun, guys. And the draft, I am so pumped for the draft. And the first game of the year is at home against the Cincinnati Bengals. And Ryan Clady goes down with a ruptured disc, but that's okay. He's not part of our starting lineup. I will show you guys the starting lineup right now. So here is your week one lineup here for the New York Jets. 
it's going to be starting quarterback Christian Hackenberg under the helm with his first ever start as a rookie right here. Now you guys probably didn't expect that, but he is going to do a fine job, I am sure of it. And if not, we do have two other backups. And we got rid of Fitzpatrick. That was such a great deal. Uh, we're going to keep Matt Forte for now. Hopefully he does pretty good for us. We also have uh, Belial Powell behind, uh, back up. And then Kiri Robinson. We also have we have Chris Swain from Navy right there. We got Eric Decker, Quincy Anunwa, uh, no, Taj Sharp, Devin Smith, and Jalen Marshall. Both from the Ohio State University. Expecting big ears from these three right here. Hopefully, Austin Safarian Jenkins at tight end with Brandon Bostick. We have Brandon Snell, rookie out of South Carolina. So we have a, like a young line-ish kind of thing right there. James Carpenter, best lineman we have. Wesley Johnson, just a kind of a new guy. We kind of got after getting rid of Nick Mangold. Brian Winters and Bryce Harris, free agent signing that we had. Muhammad Wilkerson, hoping to have a bounce back year. Not a bounce back. Well, in real life, he's having a bad year. But in this game, I guess he's going to have a, fit to have a good year. Sheldon Richardson and Leonard Williams. Hopefully the defensive line is beasting and feasting like we need them to this year in order to win right here. Jordan Jenkins getting his first start out of Georgia right there. Left out the linebacker. Aaron Henderson and Darren Lee, rookie, going to get the starts day one for the middle linebacker position. Lorenzo Maudlin is going to get the start at right outside linebacker. Our cornerbacks, we're going to need some help. We're going to need some major help. But Kawan Williams, free agent signing, is our number one corner with a Buster Screen and Marcus Williams. Free uh, safeties, Antonio Allen and Ron Tez Miles. So the secondary is rough. Everywhere is rough. Obviously, you guys know the kickers and punter. Kick returns, kick return kicks, Jalen Marshall. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty rough year, guys. But hopefully you guys can strap in. Don't you worry, guys, on, once we get to the offseason. I will, like Mr. Hurricane, I will stream the offseason and stuff. It'll be fun. I can't wait to get to the offseason. I hope this season goes quick because I, I want to be, I don't want to be this bad. But it's going to be pretty bad again, tanking year. But, again, we have, like, five first-round picks. It's going to be freaking amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this preseason video. And hopefully you guys are ready for week number one here in the New York Jets franchise. This has been Tyler signing off saying see you in week one, guys. Later.